at some point of time, I feel like down, especially on the beginning part of my homemaker's life. And you know, when you are starting to gain respect in a male dominant industry, and you have to walk away and become a full time housewife and doing daily marketing, your, your, your life is entirely changed and you feel like you lost of the social status. Hi, I'm Chusi, also known as Autumn. Autumn is my Chinese name. I was a mechanical engineer in profession before I decided to quit and to become a home baker. I worked in engineering field for 10 years. I was one of the key person in that engineering company and I have a bunch of engineers where uh, I'm overseeing their job. My husband was running business and I was an engineer that uh, required some running on the side works. So my job was really up to my nose. At that point of time, we actually discussed and decided one of us will have to sacrifice for the family. Being a business owner and being an employee is different. To create a business is a lot more complicated comparing to just walk away from your job. Obviously, he cannot quit his business, so I have to walk away from my career, you see. It was not an easy decision. It was really a tough decision. It took me one whole year to make that decision because I was at the peak of my career and I can't cope with the job. I only started to do a lot of home baking after I quit my job. It was not easy and it was a drastic changes from quitting my job from a male dominant industry and I gained respect in that industry. Everything was not planned and I started to think that I need to feed my family more healthy food since I'm not working. So I started to do more home baking and home cooking. So that's where I start to do baking and I pick up it as my hobby. When I started to do home baking, slowly, eventually, I realized there are a lot of problems or issues where I encounter in my failure and I do not know who to turn to. Back then, there was no Instagram, no, everything is not so digital and I am very left brain person, like an engineer, you know. So I need everything to be explained in facts and science. I will not be easily convinced by anything that you tell me to believe and I will have to believe it. So I will drill into the details and read a lot to back every failure by the facts of science. So I have to try and error. And I found a lot of things that I learned over the an experiment and I would want it to share with some home bakers so that they understand and they can actually eliminate uh, those failures that they might have uh, faced it. I started my Facebook sharing from 2009 by just sharing my own daily bakes and slowly only I share more about the findings, the experiments, you know, and I venture out into Facebook groups and um, second or third layers of friends and people will start to exchange ideas, exchange comments, so we actually learn together and the community grow. Baking babka is just like any sandwich bread with fillings um, and you braid it. So to, to make it easier, I would actually recommend to chill the dough because when you spread and you braid it, it tends to be very soft to do the braiding and it can get very messy. So by chilling the dough, it helps. This coconut strusel babka, I actually added caramel to buy the coconut. Yeah, it makes the entire babka another level up. I actually cook the caramel from the sugar. I'm using check up sugar. So it is pretty easy and it took only like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. For anyone who wants to start baking or start a small bakery business, I would say nothing is too late. Yeah. Everyone can start anything at any age. There's no restriction to that.
just like I said for my exam law. <laughs> yeah, because I told my kids that I haven't accomplished my grade 8 piano. I failed my grade 8 piano at age of 17 or 18. At age of 40, I told myself I need to complete it. So I went ahead to take the class, a private lesson for 8 months and I sat for the exam. Yeah. Thank you, my weekend plan and check out for having me and giving me such a platform to share my experiences. I hope my little sharing is inspirational to all the homemakers out there. Enjoy baking! Bye!